Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the January crystal healing video for air signs, so for Geminis, Libras, and Aquarians. So for those of you who are new to my channel or who are not aware of how these videos work, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle uh, deck. It's a really awesome deck. It basically has an array of crystals. Some of them not crystals. Some of them are types of crystals too, which is really cool. Um, I basically pull from this deck to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month that I'm doing the reading for, so for January. And then I go ahead and I read off the descriptions right out of the book. And then I pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Now, the reason I read the descriptions, no matter how many times I've done these videos, because first of all, we get new people all the time. We get new people all the time who are still learning crystals, learning how to work with crystals, what crystals are best for them, which I always recommend. If you are picking crystals to do it in person, if you can, um, to see what crystals calling out to you, it's based off of frequency and everyone has their own frequency as well. Okay. There's some crystals that like, if you're looking for one specific solution or one particular thing that you want a crystal for, there's a lot of crystals that will do that thing for you, okay? But it's whatever crystal calls out to you, so I just have to reiterate that. Um, but also, guys, these readings are very, very, very general, okay? So that's also why I read the descriptions, so that you can use your own discernment to decide if you really need the crystals, if these readings are really for you. <coughs> <coughs> Every time I start a video now, my throat chakra gets upset that's the first time I've coughed today <coughs> seriously first time I've coughed today and it's almost 11 <laughs> giving myself a minute <coughs> I can hear my haters laughing. Oh my God, that's so weird. Um, <clears throat> I'm going through another ascension. <clears throat> and my clear audience abilities have really skyrocketed. It's so weird the things you hear. And it's like, it's so weird what people laugh at, you know? <clears throat> it's really sad people get off on stuff like that. Anyway, um, bringing it back, guys. So I always read the descriptions of the crystal so you can use your own discernment to decide if you really need them for yourself or not because these readings are so general. Okay, some of these crystals can be kind of expensive. So if you have this deck, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which I think is actually really cool. Okay, but also again, if if you have that same issue that is coming up in a, in a reading and it's resonating for you, but you don't want to get that crystal because it's too expensive. <clears throat> research what other crystals would uh, be beneficial for you for that thing. I actually have the Crystal Bible, which is an awesome book. It has so many freaking crystals in there. I think there's also a second edition. I think it's literally called Crystal Bible too. Um, really awesome book. I highly recommend it. But air signs, let's get started, okay? <clears throat> Give me one second. Mm. Okay, so Geminis, Libras, or Aquas. Who's going to go first? Geminis, Libras, or Aquas. Geminis, Libras, or Aquas. <clears throat> Geminis, Libras, or Aquas. Aquas, I think you're calling me. Let's do Aquas. Let's do Aquarius. Ugh. It's literally only the second, like, I start videos when my first shopper gets angry like that. And I did a lot of cleansing before I went on here. <clears throat> Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? Oh, by the way, happy birthday, January Aquarians. Happy early birthday. <clears throat> what crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? I'm literally hearing rebel, rebel, rebel. That's so Aquarian, it's not even funny. As we're coming into your season, Aqua, you're gonna start feeling way more at home and way more comfortable being your non-conformist, rebellious self. <clears throat> what crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? Oop, too many. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of January? They're showing me black. They're showing me a lot of different black crystals. <clears throat> black might just be really a powerful color for you for the month of January, Aqua. 
Now, Tektite isn't in here, but I'm getting Tektite. Tektite's actually really cool. It's actually a meteorite. It's not really a crystal. <clears throat> but Tektite is really awesome for, um, for lucid dreaming. For lucid dreaming, also for accessing higher dimensions, um, astraling, it's really good for that. Uh, if you want to communicate with multi-dimensional multi beings, tektite's also really great for that. But it is a meteorite, and it's easy to find. But they are telling me tektite. <clears throat> what crystals uh, do my Aquarians need for the month of January? Ooh, trigonic quartz. Oh, very nice, Aqua. Actually, I feel like January is going to be a good month for you. I feel it. I feel like January is going to be a really nice month for you. I feel like I'm going to be doing like a lot of higher consciousness stuff. I'm going to be focused on a lot, of, a lot of higher consciousness stuff. Dreams are going to be really significant. Intuition is going to be way amped up for you. What other crystals do my Aquarians need? Oh, that's it. You got one. January is going to be awesome. Usually I, I've noticed that when, I've been doing these crystal readings for a while now. When people get one crystal, they usually have a really decent month ahead of ahead for them. When they get like four, they got some bumps in the road. But let's go ahead and read that off and then we'll pull some tarot cards. <clears throat> Trigonic Quartz, the soul's code. Trigonics hold the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multidimensions. There you go. Trigonics are cosmic coding for the soul. You are an internal spirit of, on a human journey. Excuse me. I had coffee. Okay. As a result, you may feel that Earth is not your true home. But remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and realities. Birth your soul fully on Earth if you feel alienated. Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. <clears throat> Recognize the multidimensional breadth of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul traumas and etheric blueprints. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual energies and integrate the light body. Your soul provides everything you need for well-being. The frequency of the stone is extremely high, great for the soul star and stellar gateway, great for aquas and Pisceans and for the evolution to higher dimensions. Yeah, you guys are going to be all, all hanging up up there for the month of January. Actually, I'm loving that for you. I'm really loving that for you. That's very Aquarian. Uh, let's do, I want like a fancy deck. Why well, do I want a fancy deck for you guys? I don't think, I don't really have like fancy. We'll do cosmic. We'll do the cosmic tarot. Since it's such a cosmic aspected reading for you guys. <clears throat> Why do my aquas need this crystal for the month of January? Yeah, you're not going to be in the 3D all that much. In January, I feel like more towards the end as well. You're not going to be in the 3D very much. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of January? This is interesting. Some of you guys are going to be doing some soul searching. I just heard soul searching. Um, <clears throat> by way of the cosmos, only you, Aqua, <laughs> only you. Why do my Aquas need this crystal for the month of January? And it's funny they gave me Tektite for you because that's actually a very complimentary um, crystal for this. I mean, met meteorite for this. <clears throat> Why do my Aquas need this crystal for the month of January? You're going to be making a lot of space is what I just heard. You're going to be making a lot of space. I feel like you're going to be also quite solo. You're going to be spending a lot of time alone in the month of January, but it's going to feel really good. You're going to be more efficient because you are spending more time alone. Because Oh, God, Aqua, I love you. Because people are not going to be in your way. Because <clears throat> people are not going to be in your way. Seven of Wands. <laughs> Leo Energy, back the hell up off of me. <laughs> I love that, Aqua. I love that. You're not letting anybody stand in your way. You just got to do what you got to do. And a lot of you are going to be doing something solo um, in the form of soul searching, but it feels higher dimensional. It feels a higher dimensional. Um, and because of that, you will need that. You will need that space. You will need that space away from people so you can do that. <clears throat> people might say you're defensive. I don't think you're being defensive. I think you're just setting up your boundaries. Yeah. Eight of swords in reverse. Gemini energy. <clears throat> You're not going to be in the 3D very much. Um, you're releasing yourself. 
from a lot of shit from the past that might have made you kind of guarded. That might have made you a little guarded. And that's helping you clear out space to do this cosmic soul searching. Let's see what else wants to come out. <clears throat> What else do my aquas need these crystal, this crystal for the month of January? We have another card that just came out here. What else do my aquas need this crystal for the month of January? Why else do my aquas need this? Oh, okay, okay. Oh shit. Wow, you got some intense cards that just came out here. So we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Then we have the Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy with the High Priestess, which is Piscean, uh, could also be Gemini for me as a reader. And then we've got the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. Yeah, this card's going to be coming up for a lot of people <laughs> for the next couple weeks. And a lot of readings, not just mine, but other readers, I kind of expect to see it. We're all going through a bit of a... <clears throat> A transformation, a death process, uh, integrating the shadow. It's all different names for the same thing. Ego healing, all different names for the same thing, okay? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't think you've necessarily been stuck. I think you've been kind of disappointed. I think you've been kind of... Um, not agitated. Yeah, just disappointed. Disappointed. Not very content. Not very content with the way things have been. And you want to change that. You want to change that. And doing this transformation by getting yourself away from people clearing the space, releasing yourself from anything you need to release, doing your cosmic soul searching. High Priestess with the Death card, that's some major, major integrating of the light body, in, like, just like the card indicated, integrating of the shadow. <clears throat> could even indicate, um, like I said, ego healing, all names for the same stuff. But that's pretty major with these two cards together. And then Six of Cups, you are clearing out some past life stuff. You are. You very much are clearing out some past life stuff and you're just getting your soul healthy is also what I'm getting. You're getting your soul healthy. This is going to be an awesome month for you. This is going to be an awesome month for you, Aqua. And again, people might find you defensive. You're not going to care. <laughs> I'll be honest. You're not going to care that people are finding you defensive, but you're basically changing your path. You're changing your circumstances. You're changing your circumstances because it's not to your liking. And that's and that's just that's just it. It's just a matter of fact. And you're going on a cosmic soul journey. <clears throat> or cosmic uh, soul searching in order to do it. And that will be resulting in a major transformation of yourself, major integration of your light side, your dark side, the light body. And you're going to come into some major epiphanies too, is what I'm getting. The third eye on this uh, illustration is really... Um... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I know it's annoying. Someone commented that the other day. <laughs> that it was it made the reading unbearable i'm sorry i just i can't control it i can't control it and like i said it happens every time i come on and do a reading now <laughs> at least while we're in this energy um doing my best though doing my best anyway so this third eye uh it's really really catching my attention for you i really feel like you're gonna get a lot of downloads a lot okay <clears throat> a lot about your past um a lot about where you've been a lot about where you want to go your soul's purpose the theme for everybody right now. Overall energy, we do have Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. And then we have Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. So you're putting down the burden of anything that hasn't been in your favor. You're putting down the burden of anything that's been too taking of you, demanding too much of you, including people who demand too much of you. <clears throat> and you're getting out of a place of imbalance. I don't even think you were that imbalanced, Aqua. I don't think you're starting out that imbalanced. You're just starting out discontent. And you're 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 willing to go ahead and change that and change your circumstances. Really nice, Aqua. I really like that for you. All right, so we have Gemini's and Libras next. Let's see who's gonna go first. Hmm. <clears throat> Gemini or Libra. Gemini or Libra. Gemini or Libra. Come on, Gemini's. 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 Oh, Gemini's. You guys feel really sweet right now. Let's do you. Well, you guys are going. You guys are going next. You guys are going next. What crystals do my Gemini's need for the month of January? <clears throat> what crystals do my Gemini's need for the month of January? You feel naive. Oh, Gemini's. You guys are feeling kind of naive. I don't like it. It's like, um, like, you know, when you're a kid, 
and you're all innocent and everything and you're all excited about things and even like small things get you excited <clears throat> you feel naive that you got excited about something what crystals do my gemini's need for the month of january it could have been someone could have been someone what crystals do my gemini's need for the month of january I feel like your fire is coming back fairly quickly, though, after this. You might just need a little recovery time. You might just need a little bit of a hermit mode to recover from that disappointment. <clears throat> you just got too excited. But I feel it. There's a fire in your belly. Some of you, it's actually anger. I'm being honest here. Gemini's. Some of you, it's actually anger. But it's going to motivate you. What crystals do my Gemini's need for the month of January? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of air and fire with you. Air and fire. Not a whole lot of water. Interesting. Oh, there's the fire in the belly. Garnets. It's your sacral. Okay, Geminis. I got you. I got you. Some sexual healing. Oh, some of you are disappointed about something that happened in your sex life. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, that definitely could have been over just an individual, a relationship, a dating experience, what have you, but it feels sex related. It actually like blatantly feels sex related and you got really excited and you're wishing you hadn't. Really wishing you hadn't. <clears throat> but your sacral's coming in at the forefront. Your sacral's gonna be fired up after this experience, is what I'm getting. You're gonna be doing some sewing doing <laughs> that wasn't English. You're gonna be doing some sacral healing after this disappointing event. And Garnet's gonna be really awesome for that. Really awesome for that. <clears throat> I'm hearing charisma. Charisma. You're going to be very wary of anybody who's too charismatic. <laughs> I would too. I would too, Geminis. What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of January? <clears throat> what other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of January? Let's see. Ooh! A zestulite. Okay. Ew. Some of you, uh, this sacral healing is past life related, karma related. Um, a lot of, oh, some of you are cutting a karmic partner. Ooh, can feel that. Yeah, some of you are cutting a karmic partner. Some of you have been with this person for a long time. Some of you got really excited by a new person. Either way, it's a karmic partner and it did something to your sacral. It did something to your sacral and you're going to be healing that. Some of you, this is a past life thing that's been repeated with this person. What other crystals? What other crystals do my Geminis need? Jesus. What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of January? Wow. Okay. Now we have Herkimer Diamond. Yeah, you're going to come out of this with a bang. You're going to come out of this with a bit. The lights just flickered, right? You're going to come out of this with a bang, and the Herkimer Diamond is actually going to be very uh, very beneficial for the big boom, the big burst of energy. And it's going to help you realign, too. This is, I feel, almost purely sacral work for you, Gemini. <clears throat> Relating around um, sexual patterns, sexual healing, a need for that, sacral healing specifically, and cutting karmic partners. Some of you, this is someone you've repeated a past life pattern with. Oh, interesting. Some of you, this person helped you to realize a pattern of yours that actually was from past lives. Oh, they didn't make you realize the past life part, just make you made you realize a pattern of yours. <clears throat> but it is past life related. All right, so let's read these off. I will go in order that they came out in. Uh, now I'm nasally. Okay. Garnet, Pasha. Ah, Garnet is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and to attract love. You are a passionate soul with a courageous heart. Be confident and constant. Let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Virtue matters to you. You are capable of great devotion to a cause or relationship, and you have a strong survival instinct. Take action now. A mystery is solved have courage there is a way out turn a crisis into a learning challenge <clears throat> 
If danger approaches, stay calm. You are protected. Be emotionally honest with yourself and others. You may attract a partner for sexual healing. Make no long-term commitment as it may fizzle out once the purpose is fulfilled. Finding an appropriate outlet for your passions and emotions creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is medium. It's great for the root, the sacral, and the heart. It's great for Leos, Virgos, Capricorns, and Aquas, and for expressing your soul's passion. <clears throat> Very nice, gems. All right, let's do a Zestulite. Okay. Cosmic evolution. Oh, try to get this to focus. Sorry, I didn't realize these cards were not focusing so well. Oh, that's a little bit better. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They're here to help Earth ascend into a higher expression of consciousness. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which becomes inauthentic <clears throat> and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated. Stay real, leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high, uh, great for all the chakras and, the, and best for the crown, and for assisting the earth to evolve. Jesus, Jamas. <clears throat> Some of you guys might be dealing with an Aquarius. I did just hear Aqua. All right, now let's do the last one. I apologize for my nasally situation. <clears throat> Herkimer Diamond, instant energy, powerful energy generators that access and release past life information. Herkimer Diamonds make excellent shields against geographic, geopathic stress and EMFs. This crystal works beyond the physical levels of being to bring harmony to the energy bodies and the soul. Keep careful note of your dreams as they reveal the underlying causes of your disease. You may be particularly sensitive to EMF frequencies, radioactivity, and detrimental earth energies. You may also be psychically sensitive and need to clear a blocked third eye. Check that you are not living on a negative earth energy line. You may be addicted to your tablet or mobile phone and receiving detrimental vibes therefrom. Screen yourself appropriately. High vibration, high impact energy can dramatically change your world. The frequency of the stone is extremely high, great for all the chakras and for seeing the light. Jesus. Yeah, I really feel like this is about seeing <clears throat> uh, your way through a pattern, a karmic pattern. A lot of you around your sacral or a sexual pattern here, okay? Um, some of you might need to take your ego out of it, need to take a little bit of your pride out of it. Some of you could have been dealing with someone who was very egotistical as well, and it's really rooted in your sacral, and you really got to clear that out, and also protect yourself in the process. For some of you, this person uh, likes to cling to you, okay? For some of you, this person, it's almost like, um, I don't like this word, um, like tentacle? Yeah. It's kind of like that for some of you. You'll know who you are because it feels hella strong, okay? But <clears throat> let's pull some tarot cards and see why you need these crystals. Uh, I kind of feel the Honest Truth deck with you guys. Let's do Honest Truth. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? They're repeating that word to me, tentacle. It just sounds gross. It just sounds gross to me. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? <clears throat> Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of January? Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, Jesus, you're tired. Oh, Geminis. Some of you have actually been struggling with fatigue and you don't know why. <clears throat> Some of you are exhausted and you're like, but I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I can't stop sleeping. Some of you, you can't stop sleeping. Um, some of you, your energy is getting siphoned by this karmic partner. And a lot of you, it's anchored in your sacral. You got to clear out your sacral. Yeah, some of you are really battling fatigue and you really do not understand 
you really don't understand here. Um, you're also cutting ties. I'm just noticing the rope. My eyes being drawn to the rope. You're cutting that connection. You're cutting that energetic connection, that karmic pattern, the karmic partner. <clears throat> wow. Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. You are, again, exhausted. I'm getting a lot of stuff happening at night um, where your, your agitation goes up. During the day, you're really tired, and I feel like a lot of you are just trying to, like, go for walks or drink a lot of caffeine. Um, you're trying to, like, stretch. You're trying, okay, catnap here, catnap there to get your energy up. But a lot of you, once it goes into nighttime, I think you're actually struggling to sleep as well um and you're having a lot of anxiety at night once you cut this cord cut this person out or cut this pattern <clears throat> oh excuse me or do your sacral clearing that's gonna go away that's gonna go away you got two nines by the way out of two cards nine nine very significant of getting close to completing a cycle which a lot of you like i said this is about cutting karmic patterns around sexual patterns why do my gemini's need these crystals for the month of January, some of you might feel, oh, Gemini's, I don't like where this is going. I really don't like this where this is going. Some of you feel like you're being visited at night in a way you don't like, in a way that's really upsetting. Some of you feel like it's actually um, a soulmate or a counterpart that's like astraling to you. And you might not be, you might not be okay with that. You might not be enjoying that. These crystals will help you, will help protect you from that. Okay, they'll actually help you protect they'll actually help protect you from those experiences all three of those will do that others you might be getting visited visited by energies <clears throat> or entities that are not exactly well intentioned and that's making you upset for some of these people i the sorry i said people um these energies or entities might might even be um Sucking your energy a little bit. Sucking your energy a little bit. These crystals will help you with that. And also, please get black tourmaline as well for that. Um, honestly, even um, like salt crystals, like halite, cover your home in it. That's also good for that. It's just pro it's just protection. It's just protection. Why else do my Gemini's? Wow, there, there it is. There's the burst of energy. Why do my Gemini's need these crystals? Wow, that's it. Three cards. Ace of Wands just came out. The burst of energy that's going to come out of this, okay? Once you cut away from this karmic pattern, this karmic partner, um, <clears throat> sexual trauma, you clear your sacral, you protect yourself from these entities or energies that may or may not be visiting some of you at night. That's only for some of you, not for all of you. You're going to get such a burst of energy back. It's not even funny, okay? You're going to feel alive again. You're going to feel awake again, okay? <laughs> You're going to feel awake again. You might even have a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas. You might want to hit the ground running. This is amazing energy. I really like this, okay? Some of you, to break away from this partner, because some of you, it's a partner, not just a pattern. Some of you who break away from this partner might find that you will be encountering a new partner or someone who will be giving you some sexual healing, okay? Or healing in general. But I am getting sexual with that over energy we do have queen of cups in reverse can't syrian energy could also be pisces or scorpio you could be a cusper not necessarily then we have the six of wands wow jupiter leo energy holy shit and the king of cups in reverse scorpio could also be water or air look at that the queen and king of cups and in the middle we have the six of wands there is recognition happening between you and this karmic partner okay um there's also recognition and triumph happening over the pattern you have with people who fit this description for you okay who fit this like emotionally manipulative emo i'm getting emotional manipulation emotionally manipulative archetype okay archetype is just like a type of a person right or a type of a personality trait there's recognition here of that pattern recognition of that kind of person recognition of that karmic partner that you have to release and you will be victorious over it there will be victory had here okay so gemini is kind of intense kind of a heavy read but i like it though i really like it you're heading towards a really awesome energy you're gonna feel really good you're gonna feel alive you're gonna feel awake it's gonna require some nitty-gritty as far as cutting some karmic patterns partners ties and some of you're gonna have to do um, a lot of protecting of yourself from negative energies and entities these three crystals will definitely help with all of that okay and like i said black tourmaline's great halite is great hell even selenite's great <clears throat> obsidian's good too um and like i said before in the beginning of the video 
there are a lot of crystals that will help do the same thing. So please try to go to a store if you can, like a crystal store or a spiritual store, and see what crystal calls to you. Crystal Bible is a really great book as well if you're looking for a bunch of different crystals that maybe are not super common, you know? But Gemini's, overall, I'm really happy with this. I am. Overall, really happy with this. Okay. Libras! <laughs> Last but not least, and I'm low on water. <laughs> I don't really want to get up. I'll get up after this video. Mm. Okay. Libras, 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 Libra. Let's see how your energy's feeling. <clears throat> Libra, Libra, Libra. Oh, you tired too. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Libras are tired too. Not as not as tired as Gemini's. But you're a little tired. You're very neutral. Libras, I rarely tap into your energy and you're neutral, which is funny because you're all about balance, right? So it's funny that you're actually just neutral. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? You're sitting back. You're being observant in the month of January. Just from what I'm feeling intuitively. You're being very observant. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. Or you're not saying much. You're observing people. You're observing situations. It's like... You're going to be learning a lot from your observations. I think you're, you're suspicious that something is up. And you're tired of trying to figure it out. So you're just being observant. You're just taking in information. What crystals do my Libras need? For the month of January. Red and orange. Red and orange will be really good colors for you during this time. To me, this is lower chakras and being grounded and creative, but you're very neutral. Oh, maybe that's why you need a ground. I think you need a ground, Libra. I keep hearing aqua. I think everyone's gonna be do like wanting to deal with aquas, but aquas aren't gonna be wanting to deal with anybody, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, Libra. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? <clears throat> I'm hearing carnelian. Um, there's actually a carnelian card in this deck. We'll see if it comes out. Carnelian's really great for creativity, but it's also great for protection. It's also great for protection. It's also great for any kind of um, sexual healing that needs to happen as well. So that's interesting. So Gemini have that <clears throat> energy as well, but specifically Libra, I'm hearing Carnelian. So we'll see if it comes out. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? What other crystals do... And there it is. Can you see it? Carnelian. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Yeah, so Libras, Carnelian. I Seriously, did you guys, you guys saw it fly out. Carnelian. I love when that happens. What other crystals do my Libras need <laughs> for the month of January? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? Quartz and Amethyst too, they're saying. Quartz and Amethyst. It's interesting, Quartz and Amethyst. I find this to be like, they're they're really common crystals, but they do a lot. Like they're really good universal crystals uh, for healing, for clearing shit out, <clears throat> for bringing in loving vibrations, for protection as well. Like they're very good just like to have just in general. If you're feeling a little off, like just grab one. Like you're probably, it'll probably help you, you know? So Libras, like I said, you're feeling very neutral. You, I can sense it. You think something's up. You think something's up, and I think you're wanting some protection at this time, but at the same time, you want, to, you want the answers, but you're tired of trying to figure it out. So you're just observing. Taking it day by day. Wow, my crown's hurting. Ow. Ow. Uh, what other crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? Oh, that's a lot, but we'll take the one that was away from the group. A zest your lights. Is something going on with Geminis and Libras? <laughs> so since this is a repeat, I won't repeat the description, but go ahead and check out Gemini since they had they had a zest light. Yeah, they had a zest light. Aqua had the 
Trigonic Quartz, that's right. So go ahead and check out Gemini if you just timestamp to Libra. Uh, they had this one as well. Just be careful with your suspicions, Libra, because I'm getting whatever you suspect is going on, you might not be totally accurate. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but you might not be totally accurate, okay? That's actually what I'm getting. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of January? Wow, that's it, just the two. Carnelian and a Zestulite. So I'm holding these up because I said I won't be repeating these. Carnelian and a Zestulite. I won't be repeating this one. Sorry, not these. This. There's my grammar. Okay. So let's read Carnelian. Oh. The book ran away from me. Creativity. Carnelian protects against glamours or spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause uh, precipitate action. You have the ability to remain calm during disputes. There's that neutrality. And the self-control not to follow the crowd. You are totally observing here, Libra. You think something's up, so you're not saying shit. Plus, you're tired of trying to figure it out. And it's almost like you're waiting for them to give you all the answers you need. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. And be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present and let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Be aware of charismatic people a uh, charismatic person sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimal well-being the frequency of the stone is earthy to high depending on the clarity great for the root and the sacrals what did i say root and sacral earlier right red and orange uh great for taurians cancers leos virgos and scorpios and expressing soul vitality here <sighs> libra i gotta be honest i feel like whatever you think is up I feel like you're 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 um you're wondering if it's in your workplace or it's around your workplace or your money, okay? Money can also be family related because sometimes family depends on us for money, right? Or sometimes we depend on family for money. So some of you it's family, but most of you I feel like it's career that you're wondering what's up or that some people might be trying to throw you under the bus or don't have your best interests at heart, but you're kind of just waiting it out. You're taking a seat back and you're just waiting out to see what information comes to you. But be careful, be but be careful here. That's why is Esther White's here because I think you're, some of your suspicions might not be totally accurate. Okay, so just be mindful of that. All right, so let's go ahead, pull some tarot cards, see why you need these crystals. We'll do radiant wise. Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? One more. Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? Libra, regarding career, you want to brew something. I'm actually hearing the word brew. Maybe you're a coffee connoisseur. I don't know. Or maybe you're a chemist. I don't know. But you're brewing something. You're cooking something up. You're planning something. You are creating something. And I feel like you're doing it in secret. Or you're having a little bit of creative block, which will be un unblocked with this crystal. Okay? And again, I just feel like a hush-hush about it. You're really suspect of people around you right now. I don't... <clears throat> Let's see here. I know it's choking as I tried to talk. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy with the Four of Cups. Cancerian energy and Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Someone's thinking about walking away. Someone's trying not to let on how, um, I don't even know the word for this. It's not even, it's not bored. It's not discontent. It's like, <sighs> Someone almost thinks they're too, this feels, this feels like ego. I don't even know the word for this. Like they're too something, like they're too, 
they're too good. Ooh. Like, I'm better than you. Like, I'm, I'm literally getting a little bit like that. Like, someone's ego is really kind of just like, I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. It's, it's, I don't like it. Libra, this could be someone else. It doesn't have to be you, but I think that's why I still like came out here and I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest here, okay? Um, it could help you with those kinds of egotistical energies or it could protect you from those kinds of egotistical energies, okay? So just take it as it resonates. But someone's not happy. Honestly, Libra, I really feel like someone, um, is, is a little envious here. I feel like someone is looking at another person like they don't want them to have stability, um, a little envious of their of their financial standing or their, just their standing in career or just how much confident they are or how independent they are. Take your pick from that batch. But someone is kind of like, they're looking at this person like they ain't shit, I'm the shit. You know, it's that kind of energy. But deep down, nine of swords, they're, they're really kind of, they can't stop thinking about this person. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Let's see what else wants to come out, Libra. Why else do my Libras need these crystals? Yeah, Libra, someone could be sending you hate and they're acting like they're too good for you. But at the end of the day, they really can't stop thinking about you. They're really obsessed with you because deep down, they feel like you're better than them. And even if you don't try to do it, even if you don't try to like say good things about yourself they feel like you just flaunt that okay libras you guys have haters you're venusian people who have strong venusian placements tend to have haters because you're venus right um but yeah someone's acting like 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 they're too good for your shit or something like something like that i don't know how to say that it just feels very immature it feels very immature but deep down they're this but they're acting very blase that's the word they're acting very blase about you like yeah whatever libra <laughs> Oh, High Priestess in Reverse, Secrets coming out, Truth coming out, Piscean Energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Some of you, your, your intuition's a little blocked, okay? Which is why I think you're not, yeah, again, it's like whatever you're suspicious of, I don't think you have all the details right. I think you know something's up with this person who's acting like they're too good for their shit or too good for you. Um, they might even talk shit about you, Libra, like, oh, Libra thinks they're better than me. You know, they might even say stuff like that. Um, but whatever suspicions you have beyond that, I don't think are totally accurate, but I think that'll come to light. Why else do my Libras need these crystals for the month of January? Wow. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, overall energy, ten of swords in reverse, Jesus, and the five of wands. Oh, Libra, people out to get you. What? It, what is this? Oh, this is ugly. Oh, this is ugly. I, I, sorry, I don't usually have such strong reactions like this, but this is ridiculous. Ten of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands. This is people who want to fight. Okay, this is people who want to gossip. This is people who want to stab you in the back. This is people who want to see you like this, not like this. Okay, this is who you are, Libra. And people want to act like you think you're better than other people, but I don't think that's true. They want to see you fall. They don't want to see you with stability. And like I said, that four of cups, they're just, they just like, they think that they're too good for your shit. I like, I don't know another way to say that. Like they might even act that way, that they're better than you in some fashion. And then they might even twist it and go, well, Libra thinks they're better than me. You know, it's that kind of bullshit, but deep down they're obsessed. And I think this is coming to light. But again, I keep getting that some of the details that you might think are true might not be true. And I do feel like there's been gossip. I do feel like there's been gossip here going around. I just heard people have your name in their mouth. Wow. I, I got it, Libra. I got it. How could I not with High Priestess being the last card in reverse out here? Let's go ahead and look at this a little bit. I'm going to use Lenormand deck for this one. I'm going to use OG. Talking about High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, no wonder Kearney Lane came out here too. Because like I said, it protects against envy, evil eye, hate, <laughs> hate, hateration. Talking about the High Priestess in reverse for Libra. Talking about the High Priestess in reverse for Libra. 
Wow. Wow. The star with the six of cups. Libra, whatever it is that got you here, I really feel like you just are following your path. And there's also an energy of like shining. I don't know what that's about. Not like some of you guys, I just, I just heard somebody go, Stephen King? No, not like shining, but like maybe you guys have, maybe some of you have that ability of the shining. But anyway, I just, there's something about you that's radiant. There's something about you that's radiant. You know who you are. That's also setting off haters, you know? You know who you are. You know where you're going. Some of you are heading towards your destiny. Some of you might even have a little bit of public recognition with the star. The star can indicate fame or celebrity. And with Six of Cups, it's your soul's calling, your soul's purpose. And you're just owning that. And some people just, they can't handle that. Some people can't handle that. Time of the High Priestess in reverse. Time of the High Priestess in reverse. Wow. The key. Wow. With the Eight of Pentacles. You've unlocked your destiny. You've unlocked your path. That's it. You just, again, you just know who you are. You know who you are. And you own it. And that's attracted this. It's attracted that. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Some of these haters might have actually spread lies about you, Libra, or told people that you act a certain way and you don't. Um, some of you might have even been surprised on how certain people treat you when you thought that you guys were cool. Well, it's because people have been talking in their ear about you. Let's see. Overall, wow. Yep, we've got the moon. Yep, with the goddamn sneaky fox. <laughs> Wow. And the clouds. Look at that. The moon is um, equivalent to the tarot card meaning. It also indicates work. What did I say? A lot of you feel like this is it. <laughs> Made a second video. A lot of you, like I said, feel like uh, this feels work related for a lot of you. You're suspicious about things going on in the workplace. Um, and then with the clouds, that's confusion. Sneaky Fox is just that. It's like being cautious or someone's actually up to something here. We have the eight of cups with the nine of wands and the king of wands as well. Oh, the second I, I honed in on that, I felt a different energy here. Um, the King of Wands energy has been treating you differently, and you've been wondering why. People have been spreading, people have been talking to this King of Wands, or, or one person, it doesn't have to be many people, or one person's been talking to this King of Wands, whoever they are to you, it could be a boss, uh, it could be a coworker, a friend, a lover, a family member. Um, they started treating you differently because of what they've been hearing, okay, because of what they've been hearing. Underneath that, though, oh yeah, we've got the broom, the whip. The whip clears everything up. The whip basically puts things in order, brings truth to light, ca you know, casts light on the people who have done wrong. Ooh, with the heart, love. It's exactly what that means, love. Love, matters of the heart, romance here. Also showing your heart. Something about showing your heart. Your authenticity. This is all gonna come to light, Libra. I, and I think that's all, I think deep down you know that too, which is also why you're being observant and you're not saying much, you're just sitting back. You know that everything will come to light as it needs to and that you don't really need to do anything. The universe is going to handle this for you. That's it. Universe is going to handle this for you. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know who you are. Clearly, you know who you are. You know where you're going and just focus on that. Excuse me. Sorry. Focus on that. Focus on you. And you'll be fine. And anybody who wants to try to throw you under the bus or backstab you or gossip about you or say lies about you, they'll get theirs. It's just how it works. And you know it. You know it. So yeah, you're not even you're not even worried that much about it. And like I said, you're tired of figure, trying to figure it out. So you just put the focus on you and you stop talking. That means like you stop talking. Uh, to this, you stop talking. I'll just say it that way. Anyway. Libra. Libras, Geminis, Aquas. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. Uh, Patreon, the new structure is set up. It's completely set up. Uh, the We do have three tiers now instead of just the two. Uh, the top tier um, is set up, has the first video up and running. Uh, second tier has not changed. And then the new tier will have content come mid-January. But go and check it out. See if you guys are interested. See if it's for you. Um, and I will see you guys later. Okay? Have a really great month, you guys. I'll see ya. Namaste.